Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting Nornir chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah, very well. <laughs> My dad likes loot. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. They seemed better in Alfheim. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. This is definitely not where we spawned the last time, like in the first game. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. Ooh. Just stab the kid. No big deal. Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. Why can't we jump? Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Is that like... That looks like the Darksaber from Star Wars. The lighting here makes it look like the Darksaber. Sheesh. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting no your chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah, very well. <laughs> My dad likes loot. Yes, yes he does. And it's an apple. What? You need to okay, fine. <laughs> My dad likes loot. <laughs> One of the best lines I've heard so far. returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. <laughs> oh. Was that like... Uh, there we go. Heard it. Heard it raven. There's a barricade up ahead. What are, what are those these? shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic. Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. Okay. Oh, this one. I'm an idiot. Oh. Very clever. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Watch your land! Also, oh, they explode now? What became of Kavasir? Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of the audience. Well, Thor. <laughs> what you are? A 
tracking axe throw that ricochets between targets marked by pressing R1 repeatedly. Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Watch your right! Wow. We're the ones who feed the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alpha. <laughs> he hates Alpha. Behind you, father. Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. I'm kind of bummed that he's like this. Yeah. Like, just a little bit. Just a little Should bit of action. Fair, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, flares. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. God damn it. It's one of those again. <laughs> it's so tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Petraeus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you Unfortunately go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, yes. but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah. And here, you keep pushing forward. Oh, it's because the light elves are ruling now. It has to reflect the state of the realm. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? We shall. But first, loot. I hear this guy likes loot. What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid Light. Guess some things don't change. How do we get through solid? We don't? Above the door, there's a light crystal. Oh, shit. Weird. 
That usually works. Oh, this one. Has to be from this one. Yes, I see now. The Twilight Stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. It's a mini boss. Oh, it's the light. Ah. Ow. Jeez. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimble winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success to see them. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power. Thus, the Light Elves were born. There we go. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. They may just to let these two do their thing, brother. Whoa! Is that a bomb? idea to get us across let's hear it ah. lucky for us swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture this way the shrine awaits <laughs> not understood yet this guy likes loot the temple looks so different than I remember it was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here these elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple and themselves by the look of it they definitely look more dangerous than last time oh those were just the foot soldiers they'll get more dangerous the further up we go great so if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred. None more so than the light itself. Aye. The Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. <laughs> Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Throne was another Get time. Back. To forget that. At least I tried. I get it now. Why they keep fighting? 
Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. But then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Let's check the other side. If there is another side. No? Excellent. Let's continue our ascent. Yes. Wait, what? Where's there? Hey, man. Stop blocking the way. I need... I need... You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem. <laughs> My people are known for their culture. And I am known because I like loot. Did I get everything in? Yeah, looks like it. This mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. I can't get to the other side? I wonder if we could use Twilight Stone against them. I'm gonna go there. Oh, there we go. To the chest. That's the wrong. Another chest. Yes. He's getting the hang of it. <laughs> I've never seen the light elves with so much control over the chest. Yes, that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Spartal Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. He's in the light now, too. God damn it. Hey, Glow. Ah, I see. The timing must be precise. There is a chest, so we need to get through here. It's a D&D &D character. Serious hand holding, huh? Here they come. Do what you must. Oh, it fell. them on the elves as well. I wonder, if this statue were to fall over the chasm. Push. So that's how you make light bridges? Mm. Oh! Crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. Oh, it's his turn to push. 
I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? <laughs> well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. Oh, Nornir chest. Ah, it... <laughs> oh, the Nornir. Why must they insist on these frustrating trials? You would know better than us, Baba. I can't remember the last time I visited the Norns, nor do I wish to try. Oh, I get it. I get it. We're supposed to throw it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. They don't make it easy. Two and three. There we go. Well done. Please be an apple. Oh, god damn it. Some twilight stone on that statue shield, but that angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, the last in peace may have formed. Now, can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice, the wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps, but not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own path, regardless of where they end. Finally. <laughs> Reading a book is 60 FPS. You know, I once asked my university professor uh, about that. Um, Apparently it's the wrong way to think about how people see, because in real life we don't see in frames. There must be a way to move this statue's twilight stone to get the right angle. Oh. There are two sides. Didn't know that. Oh, there we go. Go even further. The keeps getting stuck on the wind. The shield move. That looks right. Uh, from what angle, though? Here. Last time we were here, we killed the dark elf. Yeah. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I'd wondered what became of Spartan. We had to defend ourselves. But when yeah. he died, he told us to help the wrong side. I see. <clears throat> Finally. That was mildly infuriating. still hear something wounded out there. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There. The central chamber will bring us to the top. Once we find our way past yet another light door. some soundstone up there. It pairs quite nicely with the Twilight Stone. A knack for interiors, these light elves. Soundstone? Where? Oh, there we go. Oh. Ah. It's facing the wrong way. Oh, there should be another one here. Maybe if we allow me to speed this up. 
You gonna jump? The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. This oh, part, huh? The light of Alfheim. How stunning. mother inside last time but I can't anymore her soul is one with the light now united by forces older than Odin himself she is at peace Atreus I hope so when father went inside the light he said you he... went inside the light of Alfheim yes and yet here you stand of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated you must tell me Kratos what did you see that memory is for me alone but I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Oh, what is he looking at now? Father, she's... she's gone. Not over the vision. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many dark elves. I. All this time, I thought the dark elf king. I thought all the dark elves were. Here. Yes. We helped her on the side. Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. Yes. Fate's injury? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Hey, Sindri, wasn't your forge on the other side of the shrine last time? My, someone's got an eye for detail. Perhaps the Light Elves felt it looked better on this side. They do have a thing for aesthetics. 
<laughs> Honestly, I'm as puzzled as you are. But it's best not to look a gift forge in the two year. Very messy. Anyway, good luck. Okay, we're all geared up. The giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Tyr. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? The other realms thrive? And Odin dies. She lied. Roa lied? Of course she did! <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy! <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin! We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay. Whoever that is, doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win! Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. Hmm. But, but we just saw no, you. No, Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. It is time. can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. So that's the goal here, huh? There used to be a Nornir chest down here. Yes, they moved it.
Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Behind you, brother! Echo. Oh! Down here? Oh, there we go. Quickly now before more arrive. if he gets angry. Yeah. 
behind you! He's coming! Oh. Oh. Nasty hit! You all right, oh. brother? Kill himself with his own palm. <laughs> oh, so that's what we're supposed to do. Thanks for telling us, game. It's about time. I think all the Valkyries, but much easier. forced to be violent this time he angry it is over it is far from over I it's gonna be okay dear you've seen what is to come I told you I would not follow you to war and yet here I am dragging an innocent, innocent? Elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard what choice do we have there is always a choice I will not lead you to war I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Okay. Oh no! No! Atreus! Oh! Chain looks messed up. 
agreed all. Are you injured? No, sir. Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. Looks like we can't ask him to help. I want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We will discuss our next move when you are out of danger. Back to the desert we go. Dark Elf Assault. How fortuitous! Someone with the fighting elf. Can't they just leave us alone? Ooh, that's a that's a new one. I like it. More? We need to get out of here. How though? Through here. There we go. Okay, they're all falling. Okay. Right. Fucking love it. Oh, 
Can we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. Here. We open the gateway, please. Yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. Huh. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Yes. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. Side quest. Oh, that's a lot of open space. And one of these. Oh, that thing's fast. We never do seem to get rid of those things. Hail, fellow travelers. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Really? Is that really work? Appreciate it. Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, do you know what a juicy Noken is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No. <laughs> he doesn't want to find out, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, the upgrades are available because we finished this part of the main story. What is that? 
Can we ride you? What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Sure. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated Gulon. <laughs> Most unusual. Oh, you can just move slowly, huh? Cool. This one's getting worse. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? Right. Oh, we need to shoot it from the other side. Oh, they follow us no matter what. Okay, that's cool. Whatever this thing is, I think the animal's inside. Whatever's inside is kicking up quite a bit of sand. How do we reach it? There's caves and tunnels are plenty out here. Let's find one, see where it takes us. There it is. I think. Reminds me of Aladdin. <laughs> Another one of those ravens. This cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Great. Right. To, to be continued.